Self-driving cars aren't just here, they're everywhere. They're still in testing, sure, but this technology is on its way. It's just a matter of when and where it'll land first. And when that happens, robot cars will likely change society as we know it, just as the personal automobile did a century ago. The idea of a driverless car became a lot more real about a decade ago. In the early 2000s, Congress decided to invest in driverless vehicles, and they tapped the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, aka DARPA, to make it happen. DARPA decided to open the problem up to anyone interested in cracking it. It would hold a race across the Mojave Desert for 100% driverless cars, with a million dollar prize for whoever finished fastest. But most teams struggled just to get out of the starting area. At the end of the first challenge, the dream of self-driving cars still seemed out of reach. What DARPA had done was create a community of people eager to crack the self-driving car problem. So the agency announced it would give them another shot at the 2005 Grand Challenge. Many of the original players jumped right back in. In the first challenge, a Silicon Valley engineer named Dave Hall used cameras to let his robotic Toyota Tundra see its surroundings. As he prepped for the second race, he heard about a different approach called LiDAR, a radar-like device that uses laser beams instead of radio waves to map its surroundings. A lot of it came from talking to the guys at the first race. So one of the conversations they had with Jim McBride at Ford, and he said this LiDAR is, is really an unutilized tool. Many of the challenge teams had been using primitive laser sensors that could spot opticals ahead, but with little context and limited resolution. Hall invented his own version of LiDAR that saw in 3D and offered 10 times the detail of the LiDARs that came before it. So if you imagine if you just get 64 laser pointers and stack them up and draw them across, that, those are the beams that I'm scanning across. Whatever those laser beams hit or what I'm measuring. And if the laser beam didn't hit anything, you absolutely knew the road was clear. He made it spin and stuck it on the roof of his car. And he wasn't alone. In the 07 Challenge, nearly every top team used Hall's LiDAR system. Six teams finished the whole course. The robots now had the vision they needed to see the world clearly. The trophies were nice, but it was about more than prize money. The men and women who'd brought the DARPA challenges to life could now see a more valuable reward making self-driving cars a reality.